discuss the nature of the bonding in orthohydroxybenzaldehyde and the parahydroxybenzaldehyde. So we'll draw the structures of ortho and parahydroxybenzaldehyde. Orthohydroxybenzaldehyde So this is benzaldehyde and if in the ortho position there is a OH it is known as the orthohydroxy benzaldehyde and the parahydroxy benzaldehyde is like this. This is benzaldehyde and in the para position if there is a OH it is a para hydroxy benzaldehyde. Now we discuss the nature of the bonding in ortho and para hydroxy benzaldehyde. So ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde can also be written in such a manner. So in orthohydroxybenzaldehyde there is a chance of formation of hydrogen bonding. So this is the intra molecular hydrogen bonding that is formed in orthohydroxybenzaldehyde. So in ortho hydroxybenzaldehyde intramolecular hydrogen bonding is formed Now if we discuss the case of parahydroxybenzaldehyde, parahydroxybenzaldehyde has the shape like this. This dot signifies the carbon and there is a OH out here. So in parahydroxybenzaldehyde, so this is parahydroxy. benzaldehyde. So in parahydroxybenzaldehyde there is no formation of intramolecular hydrogen bonding. The hydrogen bonding that can be formed in parahydroxybenzaldehyde is only the intermolecular hydrogen bonding. So if we wish to discuss the nature of the hydrogen bonding between two molecules we can say that the orthohydroxybenzaldehyde there is a formation of intramolecular hydrogen bond and in parahydroxybenzaldehyde there is formation of intermolecular hydrogen bond. So ortho produces intramolecular hydrogen bond and parahydroxybenzaldehyde produces intermolecular hydrogen bond.